Hello everyone, this is Ridiculous Mad Dancer, and this is my last way of Clock Tower 3, Part 13. And we are heading to a mysterious cutscene. What could it be? Apparently it's some interpreted dancers. Alright. Oh, hey there. Um, some more people here. Okay, um, I've had just enough of this already. Just... We're up and uh, start talking because we don't have all day. I was killed by an entity and have been trapped in the darkness ever since. What pain? Help! Help me! It's too dark to see anything. Where am I? Tell me where I am. Those cursed entities. I like her. I just wish oh, but it's more than Alyssa's. That's for sure. See, Alyssa, they can actually wear pants, <laughs> unlike you. And they'll have swords. I want a sword. Wait. What is the ritual of engagement? Tell me. Well, they Tell kind me of going on. told you partly what it is, but I guess you're just too mesmerized by their their dancing and their their shiny swords and their transparentness. <laughs> But anyways, we had to see that cutscene first, or else we couldn't do anything else, so thank you, game. You just uh, block off everything else. You have to see that cutscene no matter what. Well, well who cares? It's, it's not a bad cutscene. But anyways, let's go over here, and I, I think this is the right portal. There's another one opposite of this one. And I can't be bothered to show you the... Well, actually, if you just go to the pause screen, you can see the map, but... Yeah, you'll see it eventually, probably. Alright. <laughs> Let's put some more water in the portal square. Oh my goodness. Still can't get over that. It's like, why would you call it a portal square? I guess it doesn't sound as good as if you say a portal circle, but still. Swer or that swerving path? Not really, just kind of curvy. This isn't a very good place to be. Oh, this car. You can't get away! Whoa, you got lightning quick reflexes. I have to give you some qu some credit there, Alyssa. Okay. <laughs> well, we, we kind of knew that you killed people already, so... Whoa, okay. So you guys both have great moves. But, uh, oh my goodness. I don't know how he's able to, like... Keep that pose without like being in immense pain. And just crotch us to a holy hell. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a full moon. And then they're yeah. We'll just, yeah, okay then. Um that was a pretty echo I should have gone towards him. <laughs> it's like I don't have a death wish. Mummy, are you really dead? Well, I just want the shiny god damn it, no I don't want a shit. Catch! <laughs> I want the shiny. All right, <laughs> it's Mum's handwriting. Twenty second of um, March. Two weeks until Alyssa's birthday. I'm so worried that I don't know what to do with myself. I sent her to boarding school so that she wouldn't have to fight as a rooter. But will the entities let Alyssa's heart go so easily? They say a rooter's heart is necessary in a ritual of engagement. A rooter's heart taken from the body of one who has reached her 15th birthday. I only hope that she can elude them until her birthday is passed. Well, uh, I guess everyone keeps diary entries or journal entries, whatever you want to call it. But oh, oh no! Oh no! Leave me alone! Uh, it's that last bit of water. Thank you very much. I shouldn't have had to use it on you, but I was kind of derping around. Oh my goodness! Go, 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 go! <laughs> yeah. Um. Not very good at the controls at this very moment. Um. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll be fine. I mean, really? Has anybody found? The oh, oh. Okay, come on, stop panicking. Uh, okay, it seems like he left. I thought you'd be able to see him coming in again. But whatever. Just, just hurry up, Chopper. We don't. Once again, we don't have all day. We've got things to do. Let's 
least Shiny is there and it's taking forever for you to leave. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, he'll will most like, for the most part, he'll stay longer if he, he kind of saw you go in, but he didn't, so. Alright. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. You'd think if you're such a hotshot subordinate that you'd be able to have better digs than this. Book of Ventures 3! In 1655, a woodcutter by the name of Harold Powell was born in Cardiff, Wales. Hideously deformed at birth, he suffered the taunts and ill will of all those around him. At age 17, at, year, <laughs> at 17 years of age, he proposed marriage to Emily Dickens, the end cup an innkeeper's daughter, but he was cruelly rebuffed. In retaliation, he was said to have dismembered Emily with his axe. For years following the gruesome event, he went from village to village, abducting young girls and butchering them in the same fashion. Two years later, he was caught by villagers and killed. However, Powell was possessed by an entity and revived to hunt for rooters as he had as the head of the subordinates. Well. Yeah, hot shot, you. How did you. I don't know. Did he, it sounds like he didn't even have to work to get up there. It's like, well, he does have experience killing young girls. Well. Um. I don't know. Just said uh, 17. So, not that young, but still young. Young girls. It's creepy a little. Oh my goodness. No, leave me alone. Wait, I don't remember these. Oh, no. He's gonna come if you get me. No. Ah! No! 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 Oh, I hate you. You just look fly up. <laughs> we have done our job. No, I don't want you around me. Go away. Oh, nice trick. Uh -huh. That's not a trick. I'm just trying to get to this three eyed lion statue. Uh, no, we're not gonna press it. We're not gonna press it now. I'm sure there's some other stuff to look at. Something is written along the outer frame. Purify thyself with holy water and awaken the lions in order. Well, that we will do. Let's see, what, which number are you? Oh, you're a one-eyed lion. Okay, there we go. Yeah, um, red eyes not make me feel better about this. Oh yeah, we're running away from some guy called Chopper. He's not gonna be satisfied until we're dead. Get going, Alyssa. I should probably use some lavender water. Come on, we can do this. I think the second one is over here. Hey, I did use some lavender water. It should have been working rather well, but it didn't. A statue to my lion! Yeah, let's press it! That's right! Oh, stop trying to keep us from our objective. And we need to keep enough holy water to put on that altar, I believe. I don't know. I guess it kind of makes sense, but probably not as much as it should. My sound just works, so I will be back very soon. <laughs>